So today we're looking at standard form. Okay, so standard form is just a way of writing large numbers or very small numbers using the powers of 10. There is a rule you have to remember. Standard form has to be between the numbers 1 up to 10. So this means 1 is included in the numbers, but 10 is not. So you can go all the way up to 9.999, it will never reach 10 when you're writing in standard form. So when we say the powers of 10, this is what I mean by powers of 10. If I have 10 to the power of 2, it means 10 times 10, which is the same as 100. So the small number at the top tells you how many zeros you need. So in this case, 10 to the power of 3 means 1,000. 10 to the power of 4 means I need 4 zeros, so 10,000. 10 to the power of 5, I need 5 zeros. So that is 100,000. So this tells you how many zeros there were with the number. So we're going to look at standard form. There are two types. There's one that we call ordinary numbers. There is one that we call standard form. These types are ordinary numbers. These types are standard form. So first, we're going to learn how to write from ordinary number to standard form. So this is ordinary numbers. Okay. And we're going to learn how to write it to standard form. To standard form. So here we have 7,000. So the first thing I always say is that pretend that there is a decimal point at the end here. Now we're going to move our decimal point from the right side to the left side. So here I move it 1, 2, 3, 4. Remember, the number has to start from either 1 up to 10. So I put my decimal point here because this is 7. I've moved 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. So this we write it at 7 times 10 to the power of 4. Because I've moved 4. Here, again, pretend there is a decimal point here. I have to keep moving. So I move 1, I move 2, I move 3, I move 4. I move 5. I cannot put stop here because this number is 19, which is bigger than what standard form should be. So it means I have to keep moving again, so I move again. Because this is 1, 1 is part of my standard form. So I can leave my decimal point here. So now we write this as 1.95. You don't need to write the zeros because the zeros will come in your powers of 10. So times 10. How many times did we move? So we moved 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's to the power of 6. Now let's look at when it starts with the zeros. So this is the smallest numbers. This time we are moving the decimal point to the right side. Remember, when you move it to the left, the powers are positive. So if I move it to the right, the powers will go to negative. So in this case, I move it 1, 2, 3. Here, I cannot stop because it still begins with zero. So I have to move it again to this point. So I've moved it one, two, three, four. So that would become seven times 10 to the power of minus four. Because I have to keep moving until the number is between one to 10. That's why I did not stop over here, but I stopped at the end here. So again, let's try this one. Let's move one, two, three, four, five. We stop over there. So that is 1.42 times by 10 to the power of minus five. And that is how you write in standard form. So just follow the movement of the point. If you move from here to the left, your power will be positive. Move from the right, from the left to the right, it becomes negative. So this tells you how many numbers were before the seven so you can see here there is one two three four here you can see there's one two three four five and that is here here you can see there were one two three four zeros and here there's one two three four five six so that is easy to spot then we're looking at writing from standard form to ordinary number okay this tells you that you should have three numbers after the 8 because here is to the power of 3 so that is the same as being 8.25 times by a thousand so all i have to do just to explain to you 
let's write this in this way 8.25 times by a thousand that is the cute there so if i want to write it in ordinary number i'm multiplying by a thousand when you multiply you move the decimal point to the right side so i'm moving it three times that's the three zeros three times so that's one two three here but this hat doesn't have any number there so it means i have to put a zero in that hat so this number here now becomes eight two five zero okay so this in ordinary number is written as eight two five zero because that is how we multiply by a thousand so now i have done this so the thousand i have used so that is my answer so if i'm doing this minus five tells me that there will be four zeros after the six because when i include the six it will be five numbers so writing this would be zero point one two three four six seven because remember it's minus five so let's count from my six that's one two three four five and that is the minus five if you want to write this in this form you can check to see if you are right move the numbers the decimal point that'll be one two three four five see that is what we have over there so this is how you write standard form to ordinary number then from ordinary number to standard form so now let's look at some questions which usually comes this is a typical question that is another type of question when you have these type of questions all you have to do is i'm going to write the question a bit up so i have enough space 2.1 times 10 to the power of 8 multiplied by 6 times 10 to the power of minus 5 okay so it's the same question there i need space whenever you have this type of question non-calculator question please do not rush through it take your time one by one group the numbers first so in this case do 2.1 times by 6 because they are the ordinary numbers here okay the ones that i have circled so put them in one bracket 2.1 times 6 first then you put the powers of 10 in a separate bracket so this time is 10 to the power of 8 times 10 to the power of minus 5 okay and bring your multiply sign in the middle this makes it easy so here 2.1 times by 6 is the same as 12.6 because 6 times 1 is 6 6 times 2 is 12 times by here you use what we call the law of indices so if you watch my previous video the law of indices says that if the numbers the base the down numbers are the same and you have times in the middle we add the two top numbers we add the powers so in this case we're going to have 10 then 8 plus minus 5 8 plus minus 5 when you have 8 plus minus in the middle is the same as just take away so this will become 12.6 times 10 to the power of 8 take away 5 because plus and minus in the middle becomes minus so that gives you 12.6 okay times by 10 to the power of 3 if you leave your answer in this way it's not in standard form why because standard form has to be between 1 up to 10 it cannot include the number 10. If you look at this, it says 12.6. 12.6 means it's bigger than 10. It can't be that. So that is not in standard form. So what it means is we need to move our decimal point to go between 1 and 2. Because the number can only start from 1 up to 9.999. So I'm going to move this decimal point here to this side here. So this will now become 1.26 times 10 now the power has to change remember from here when we move from the right side to the left side the powers were adding up by one so when i moved one two three four i had positive four so it means whenever you move the decimal point to the left side you add one to the powers so in this case the power would become four because i'm adding one to three because i have moved the decimal point to the left side so i have to add one to this and this is the standard form to that question 
Let's quickly look at this. The same process, but I'll skip a lot of the steps here. Group them. So we have 3 times 9 in one bracket. Then we have 10 to the power of 7 times 10 to the power of 6. Okay? Put your times in the middle. 9 times 3 is 27. This, we are going to add them because it has multiply in the middle. So the law of indices, add the powers. 7 plus 6 gives me 13. So this is 10 to the power of 6 plus 7. So you have 27 times 10 to the power of 13. This again cannot be standard for. Look at the condition. It can start from 1 and it can never reach 10. This is bigger than 10. So again, whenever you have a whole number, always pretend that there's a decimal point at the end. Because if I write 27.0, that is the same as writing 27. So that is why I always pretend that there is a point at the end there. So to make sure that this becomes in my standard form, I need to move my decimal point in between the numbers here. So that I start from 2, which is in my standard form condition. So this will now become 2.7 times by 10. I have moved my decimal point from the right side to the left side, which means I have to increase the powers here so it becomes to the power of 14 because i only moved once therefore i add one to it i'm going to do a different question this time which says divide okay and that will be the end of this video so i'm cleaning this part and let's quickly look at when we have a question that says divide so these examples i'm doing are all gcse type of questions so for example here it says 2.3 times 10 to the power of 12 divided by 4.6 times 10 to the power of 3. Okay. So, let's look at this. Again, we do the numbers separate. This time, remember, the sign in the middle is divide. Here, it was times. So, these things will change over here. So this we did 2.3 divided by 4.6. Okay, because it's divide. Then we have 10 to the power of 12. The middle sign here is divide. So divide comes before times. So this will be divided by 10 to the power of 3. And we put a times here. Why do we put a times there? Because in standard form, it's always going to be times 10 to a certain power. That's how we write standard form. So always the times will be in the middle. If you do 2.3 divided by 4.6, that is half. So it's 0 0.5, because 2.3 is half of that. That's 0 0.5 times by, again, the law of indices. If there is divide in the middle, we take away the two top numbers. So that will be 10 to the power of 12, take away 3. So we have 0 0.5 times 10, to the power of 9. Again, 0 0.5 is not standard form. Standard form cannot start from 0. It must start from 1 all the way up to 9.999. So in this case, I've moved my decimal point from the left to the right side so that it starts with 5. So this will now become 5 times 10. What have I done? I moved the point from left to right. When you move from left to right, you take away. I've moved it once, so I'm taking away 1 from the powers. So this becomes 5 times 10 to the power of 8. And that is the standard form. So whenever you have a standard form question, take your time, split the numbers, use your laws of indices, and you should be able to get all the questions in the correct order. When there is divide there, use divide in the numbers. Your times is always in the middle there because it's in standard form. And that is how we leave our answers in standard form. So I hope this question will be beneficial to you. If you have any questions on standard form, don't forget you can leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Thank you.